Yeah. So, what's your kind of overall thoughts on the spring now that it's over and the, the team practices? And you guys obviously looking to uh, motivation from last year. Uh, we made it through healthy for the most part. You know, that was my goal individually and for the team. Try to make it through as healthy as possible because last the last two few years, <clears throat> excuse me, we had a lot of guys go down with uh, nicks and bruises. So just being able to get good work in and stay healthy is really was really something that I wanted us to do as a team this year. What's it been like as a wide receiver in a wide receiver room going through kind of a quarterback battle? Um, I mean it's not bad. It's not tough at all because I have. I have great relationships with all three quarterbacks, and uh, I'm pretty sure most of the receivers do as well because, you know, off the field, we all hang out and do stuff together, which brings us all closer together. So at the end of the day, it's, I have trust and, and uh, I have great relationships with all three quarterbacks. So whoever's out there, I have uh, faith in them to get the job done. As the old man in the receiving room, can you talk about uh, the young guys behind you and Keon and how they've developed? Mm -hmm. Throughout these uh, last 15 practices, you've seen the growth, you know, when you're young, there's going to be some growing pains, you know, making mistakes. We all go through it, but that's the beauty of the sport, you know, learning from your mistakes, moving on, and being able to take coaching from your peers along with your coaches. So that's something that our young guys have done a great job of so far. Specifically, can you talk about anything they've done that stood out to you? Mm -hmm. Just listening, you know, and just maturing, because uh, coming into the spring, that was something that they still needed to work on. You know how it is when you're young in college, you just want to, you don't know what you don't know. and after going through and learning and seeing how things are done on and off the field, they really soak that in because if you're not handling your business on the field or off the field, it's just going to show. And I mean, it's going to make your time here very rough. Trading your routes look better. I mean, that's absolutely Absolutely, you know, um, that's something that Coach Hawk and the rest of the staff has challenged me to do, just keep improving on my route running because that's something that I feel is you know, still it needs improvement in my uh, my game. You know, there's things I do well, and I'm going to continue to work on those as well. But the things I I really need to focus on is route running and just short quickness, uh, being getting in and out of my breaks. So that's what my focus has been. With Jaden gone, how much more like I don't want to say pressure, but responsibility do you feel that kind of you and Ken lead lead the room? Um, honestly, I think it's more pressure off the field, just getting the room together and make sure we're all on the same page. You know. We're all talented athletes and I'm highly recruited. So the on the field part, that's gonna all come together once you know, just repetition and stuff like that. But just getting the guys together off the field is probably the more challenging part. How much different was today versus the other 14 practices? And what do you feel like as a collective in those 15 practices you guys got the most accomplished? Um, you know, obviously the fans being out there, you know, the atmosphere is, is something that we don't really, we don't get that atmosphere every day at practice. So that, you know, it can juice guys up, it can, Every, I mean, everyone has nerves, whether it's your fifth year or your first year. And I mean, that's that's good. That means you care. You, know, you may have a little butterfly or something like that. But um, just guys flying around and making plays on both sides of the ball, you know, it's good to see that, especially in front of our, our home fans. Do you feel like it was today was pretty reflective of the other 14 practices or what you guys did? Yeah, I think we got it after it. You know, um, like I said, the butterflies sometimes get the best people and it may not be as clean or crisp as we want it to be, but it's at the end of the day, it's still a learning experience and we still have time to get that fixed before the season starts. What'd you feel in the quick offense, the 100 minute tip drill, being in this catch and being a great throw in that? Um, that's just all timing and uh, trusting each other. You know, that's something we rep at least once a week in practice, you know, two minute drill, um, knowing get the first down or get out of bounds so the clock can stop, handing the ball to the officials so you don't waste any time, bobbling it and stuff like that. So. Um, whom having trust in me and the O line, everyone being on the same page, we were able to march the ball down the field. Let me ask you about uh, Jaron Mango, mm -hmm. big back, gives you guys a little bit of something extra. Has it been a nice change with getting obviously a healthier offensive line, but having a big tailback can do some things for your yardage? Absolutely, especially, you know, me and Jaron, we go way back from high school. You know, we had uh, we played against each other in high school, uh, did seven on seven together. so. We already had that relationship uh, over the years, and then when I saw that he was in the portal, and we had a chance to get him. I was I was happy that we jumped on him and got him because you know him and his brother both being here, that's something we like to keep in our program. You know, family bond, and then I know how the skill the skills that he brings to the table. You know, in the passing game and the running game, so he's a great addition to our team. What do you think about the tailback wearing the number one jersey? It doesn't seem right, does it? No, I mean it's it's a good you know change of scenery and it's different than Jay Reed being in it, but you know it's still good to have that that great number out there. Thanks, man. No problem.